Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. We're doing a little collaboration with Haywire Homestead. Um, the collaboration is to talk about the things that we're doing to get closer to our food. Um, the there they are right here. These girls are doing a great thing as you all know. They, they help us to raise some of our own food by growing eggs for us and they do a pretty good job at it except right now when they're all molting you're really getting to see some of them I mean this girl here's got a neck that's free where's uh Roxy's really molting look at that she's molting a lot um, so we're not really getting any getting much in the way of food from these guys right now or any eggs but this is one of the things we've we've done to really try to get a little bit closer to our food is our chickens all right the other thing we did is for those of you that have followed us I'll show you the, the remnants of it right now but we had a garden here with some tomato plants we went ahead we grew some tomato plants here we had some watermelon that grew that actually the watermelon didn't really grow very well uh, Look at that, we still got a squash though. Let's check that out and see if that's uh, still good. I didn't even know there was one here. That actually still looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and collect that up. Nice little find there. We had our little garden here. We got the mint still growing. We're gonna have to bring these in, some rosemary. Um. We grew tomatoes and peppers. Those were our pepper plants over there. So we did the gardening. One other thing we, we tried to do is we... One other thing that we had tried to do is we tried to get some meat chickens. Um, unfortunately, I'll, I'll show a clip here in a minute of our meat chickens. I wonder if my wife showed them all that one. <laughs> it's like they don't know they can get water from the other one. That's another tiny one right there. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Got one trying to escape. This guy's tiny compared to the rest of them. Play with them. And the last guy who wanted to perch himself up. You're the last birdie. The last one to go in. Can I go in? Want to see your new coop? Huh? Want to see your new coop? Look. Can I go in? New coop. Can I go in? But unfortunately, we didn't get to process them because they uh, got taken by a fox. Fortunately, sometimes there's, there is uh, a little bit of um, tragedy on your homesteads. But just yesterday, I went and I picked up two chickens from a local uh, friend of mine. He uh, got some chicks to raise, and in the chicks that he got, he got two roosters right here. And unfortunately, he can't have them where he's at, so he gave them to me. And fortunate for us, we're going to turn these guys into some meat birds. Or... We may swap those out with one of the two roosters that are in the coop. But right now we're planning on making these guys meat birds. So there you go guys. That's the things that we're doing to make ourselves a little, get a little bit closer to our food. We're growing eggs. Um, trying to get some chicken from some of our, our birds. If not, we're definitely going to do the uh, chicks again in the spring. Um, and we've had a garden. So... Thanks for coming on along, guys. Remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And go ahead and um, check out Haywire Homestead as well. They're doing a pretty good channel over there as well. So have a good day, guys. Bye. Morning, Lord Farquad. You want to say hi? Yes, not. <laughs>